What's up, everybody? It's Roysko here to talk to you about Boro Marble League 2. As many of you already know, Boro Marble League number 2 is going down in Albuquerque, New Mexico on December 3rd. And a few of you have been hitting me up saying, with the holidays, you can't travel, you got pets or kids to take care of and whatnot, but you still want to get in on the festivities. So what we're going to do is a live stream event before we open up to the public. So while it's still a little bit quiet and calm before all the fun and chaos, I'll be live streaming and commentating a few races for y'all to get in on and possibly win some prizes. So how this is going to go down, if you want to participate in this race, you go to my website, I'll have 20 marbles available for you to choose from. And every person that scoops a marble after the races will be sent the marble, a stand to display it like this, and one of the Boro Marble League 2 stickers to show you participated. The races are gonna go down like this. Our track is set up for 10 marbles. So we'll have the first race of 10 marbles, five laps, top five go on to the final race. Then we have the second race, 10 marbles, five laps, top five of that go on to the final race too. Then we have those top five competitors competing against each other in the final race, another 10 marble race with five laps. And the third, second, and first place will all take home prizes on top of the marble with the stand and the slap. The third place prize is one of these epic Ignite Quartz nails, the bubblegum machine slurpers right here. You have your choice of 10 or 14 millimeter. Second place prize will be a slurper set along with one of these nails, 10 or 14 millimeters, your choice. And the first place grand prize will be this purple cheese squirter right here. 10 mil to eight hole, Big ol' opals on it, just an absolute beauty of a piece that one of you can take home just for scooping a marble off my website. So now the fun begins. We gotta get to the weigh-ins, baby. We gotta see what these competitors are stacking up at. How big are they? How little are they? How much do they weigh? So we got the scale out here. We got the calipers. We'll go over each marble, their size, and their name, and uh, let you guys choose based on whatever concepts you have in your head about what's going to be the winner maybe the one with the funniest name will win maybe the biggest one will win maybe the smallest maybe the lightest we really don't know so it's up to you to decide what you think could take home the prize all right so we're reaching in here right now oh this is a cool marble we're going to start off with calling this one blue dream baby all blue swirls through there blue on the inside with some dark blue swirls on the outside or opaque blue I should say it's not too dark and let's start off clearing this scale to zero and see how much this bad boy weighs all right oh this is a monster coming in at oh let me wait for the scale to settle baby we got the blue dream war marble weighing in at 6.5 grams man it was bouncing to 6.6 .6 there for a second that's a thick boy that's Dense as fuck, yo. All right, now let's check out the size on it. They got to be between about 16 to maybe like up to 17.5, I think, can fit in the track. This is our finishing line, so they all line up in here at the end to see which place you are because those top five go on to the next race. So make sure it slides in the finishing line. No problems there. Okay. Measuring a hefty... 17.3 millimeters oh wait, it's yeah 17.3 millimeters right there that's about as big as you can go right here this is the blue dream marble weighing in at 6.5 grams 17.4 or 3 millimeters we got a big boy right here if you're going for big and dense the blue dream marble might just be your choice all right next up let's do another blue guy i really like this blue one have you all heard of Mediterranean? Just an absolutely beautiful color. Just like you put this in the sunlight, it looks like it's like glowing. We're calling this one the Metaverse. And we're gonna check out the weight. The Metaverse weighing in at a solid 6.0 grams. Not as chunky as the last one. We'll see what it comes up in the calipers though. All right, what are, what are our calipers reading for this one? Ooh, that's a nice cool 16.7 millimeters 
great size right there. You know, the small ones might not get hit as much. They might be able to take the turns a little bit faster, not as much weight carrying them, but I think the acceleration might be better in the small ones. I mean, who really knows? I'm not a scientist. I'm just a glass blower. So here it is, the Meta, weighing in at 6.0 grams, 16.7 millimeters. Who's going to take home this marble and possibly take home a squirter? Next up, we got a hilarious name for this one. As you can see, it is brown with yellow swirls all around it. So we're calling this one the Pee Pee Poo Poo Marble just because I still have the brain of a 13 year old and think that is hilarious. Let's see what the weight of the pee pee poo poo marble is. The pee pee poo poo marble weighing in at a 6.5 grams, another big one here. Nita, should we weigh you next? Are you coming down in Papa's lap or what? Come on down little mamas, come on. All right, thank you honey. You just gotta be center of attention for everything, huh? All right, let's see what the calipers are reading on our pee pee poo poo marble right here. It looks like it's going to be right around 17, 17.1, 17 point. Uh, come on, sit still, calipers. Wait, oh, damn. Uh, every time I squeeze it, it, they're so round it just rolls right around it. Let me see here. We are getting a 17.3 millimeters. So another big one here. Let me make sure this fits in the finish line. Oh yeah, 17.3 millimeters, 6.5 grams for the pee pee poo poo marble. Next up, what do we got here? Oh, this is old smoke dog, Smokey, Smokey and the Bandit. This one is a transparent black with gray opaque swirls all through it. It looks like a a swirl of smoke going through the darkness of the night. All right, this marble, let's see what it weighs for Smokey. Oh, snap, Smokey's a heavy one. Smokey's coming in at 6.8, 6.9, 6.8, 6.9. It's going right back and forth. What are we gonna call it, Neaters? That was actually the name of my first cat was Smokey, Smoke Dog. Shout out to Smoke Dog. We're going with 6.8 grams on Smoke Dog here. Weighing in at 6.8 grams, it's Smoke Dog, AKA Smokey. Let's see what the calipers read for it. We are getting a 17.6. This is our biggest marble yet. Smoke Dog at 17.6 millimeters, weighing in at 6.8 grams. It's Smokey. All right, next up, we got a cutie right here. It's yellow with a little bit of serum on the outside to add a little bit of extra flavor to it. We're calling this one the P is stored in this marble, AKA the piss marble. Let's see what the piss marble weighs in at. Piss marble coming in at 6.3 grams, not the biggest one of the day, not the smallest one of the day. Right in that middle ground might make it a great racer. And as for the size on the piss marble, we are getting a reading of 17.2 millimeters for the piss marble. Piss marble weighing in at 6.3 grams, 17.2 millimeters. Will this be your fighter? Can he take home the victory? All right, now we got this. Epic one, we're going with another weed strain for this one. It's got a little bit of an opaque green swirled through a transparent green right there. And we're calling it Green Crack. Y'all remember when you used to smoke Green Crack? Pretty sure now they just rebranded it as papaya. But Green Crack was that, that sativa strain that used to get everybody going. Let's see what the Green Crack weighs. There's no cracks in the marble, by the way. Hopefully by the end of the race there won't be either. If they do get banged up during the race, don't worry, I'll fix them all up before I ship them to your door. Coming in at another 6.3 grams is the Green Crack Marble. Now let's see what the millimeter sizing is on this one. Just slightly smaller than the last one. This one is coming in at, is it gonna go to 17? Nope, it's sitting at 17.1 millimeters, 6.3 grams for the Green Crack, baby. All right, next up. Oh, this one's pretty cool. This one's a nice mixture of, uh, what was it, North Star Yellow with some clear to give it some haziness, some yellow. 
Really cool one when you see it in person. Lots going on. It looks almost like a fume marble up in there, but with all yellow fume. Um, so we're going to call this one the sun, a.k.a. the power of the sun. With this one, you can harness the power of the sun. Sun eaters. Coming in for the weight of the power of the sun, it looks like it's sitting at 6.4 to 6.3. Don't me, bitch. Um, nope, it's settling at 6.3 grams for the power of the sun. What will the calipers read on this one? We're getting a clear 16 or 17.2 without any fluctuation on the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. This could be a great fighter right here. I don't know. It just looks awesome. And I mean, how can you lose if you harness the power of the sun? Am I right? All right. <clears throat> Next up. You got, I believe this one is the biggest marble. This one barely fits in there. So um, if you're going for chunky, this is the one to get. We're calling it peaches and cream. It is peach with white swirls through all of it. Peaches and cream right here, baby. Let's see how much this peaches and cream weighs. Peaches and cream is weighing in at 6.9 grams, baby. Ooh, that's a chonker. This one really maxes out the um, track, so let's see what it comes in at right here. 17.8 millimeters. Damn, I didn't even realize the track could go that big. But if you want a big honker, get yourself some peaches and cream. That big booty peaches and cream, baby. Our fighter peaches and cream weighing in at 6.9 grams, 17.8 millimeters. Woo, we got a big one for y'all, baby. If you want the big one, you know, go scoop that peaches and cream. Oh, this one's cool. This one, I believe the color is called ghost, but we're calling it the cloud. Ooh, this one's just going to float over the competition. The cloud right here, just a nice um, semi-transparent white. It lets a little bit of light through, isn't fully opaque, but it definitely is not transparent completely either. Let's see what this cloud weighs. Will it weigh anything? It's a cloud. Coming in at a clean, oh wait, never mind. I thought that was gonna be a 6.0, but now we're sitting at 6.1, back to 6.0. Come on, do your thing, scale, settle out. All right, coming in at a clean 6.0 for the cloud. Let's measure this bad boy. Looks like we are gonna get an even 17 millimeter marble out of the cloud right here. The cloud weighing in at 17, or weighing in at 6.0 grams, 17.0 millimeters. Just a nice even number for both of them. Will that be what it takes to win the Boral Marble League live stream event? Oh, I'm gonna take out the next three together just because it's a nice little um, set, honestly. If you're looking at scooping multiple marbles too to race for better odds of winning this, you could scoop all three of these together. Um, you can scoop as many as you want. But these three together are pretty badass. So first up, we got the Pac-Man. Then we got the Purple Ghost. Then we got the Orange Ghost. Can't wait to see them all chasing each other like the video game, baby. But we'll start off with the weight of Pac-Man. Whoop. As I drop it off the stand. Pac-Man is weighing in at, so it's settling at 6.5 grams. Now for the millimeter test. This one's slightly bigger than the last one. We're coming in at 17.4 millimeters for the Pac-Man. Next up, we'll go to the Purple Ghost. It's actually like a purple blue, but it's got a lot of sparkle in it too, so it really looks pretty if you put a nice light on that or take it outside in the sunlight. What will our Purple Ghost weigh? Purple Ghost is coming in at another 6.5 grams. Same as the Pac-Man. This could be an even battle between the two. All right, and size-wise, what are we getting here? Oh, slightly bigger, it looks like. Oh, it's going between 17.4 and 17.5. Let me smash this thing down, and it sits about 17.4. So we're going to call it 17.4 for the purple and blue ghost, baby. And then lastly, we have, out of that set, the orange ghost. Let's see what the orange ghost weighs right here. Orange ghost coming in at, is it gonna settle at 6.1? It looks like it's settling at 6.1, slightly smaller than the other ones. The other Pac-Man crew. And millimeters is coming in a little bit smaller as well. 
Looks like we're reading a 17 point, uh, 17.1 for the Orange Ghost right here from Pac-Man series, baby. All right. Now I got a cool one here. It is just a dark, deep, transparent red. I don't know if I want to call it the Red Rocket or the Red Ruby. If you buy this one, you can pick the name for it. Is it Red Rocket or Red Ruby? If you buy it, just message me and tell me what you want me to call it on game day. Red Rocket's pretty funny, but it's not really the color of a dog's wiener. It looks more like a Red Ruby to me, but I love the name Red Rocket. So it's up to the winner. Whoever buys it, you can choose. All right, Red Rocket is coming in at a cool 6.4 grams. And let's check the sizing on this thing. Slightly larger than the last one. Looks like it's about the same size as the other Pac-Man ones coming in at 17.4 millimeters is the Red Rocket, the Red Ruby, the reddest marble of all the land. The drop of blood or something. All right, what do we got up next? Ooh, this one's cool. This one is a sparkle black opaque color called Galaxy, but we're not calling it Galaxy. We're calling it Charlie Murphy, AKA the darkness because it is the darkest marble of the bunch. It is just sparkle black. It looks so cool. It doesn't even look like glass almost. It looks like a metal marble almost. All right, let's see what the darkness, AKA Charlie Murphy is coming in at. Let the scale settle for a moment. Need this love in this. You like the darkness? 6.5 grams for the darkness. And we are getting a reading of 17.3 millimeters for Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy coming in at 17.3 millimeters. That's a good middle uh, size for these right now. That could definitely be a competitor. I'm pretty sure that uh, Charlie Murphy lost to Prince in the basketball game, but this is Boral Marble League bowling or uh, racing. This is not basketball, so you might still have a chance. <clears throat> now this one is a magical marble called the Magic Potion because it's made completely with potion. If you don't know, that's a CFL color that'll go green outside, um, or actually blue outside and natural light, green under LED light, and then be glowing purple under CFL light. So it hits three different colors. That's why it's the magic potion, baby. But does it have the magic potion to win this race? Only time will tell. All right, let's see what potion is weighing in at. Weighing in at, it's creeping up. Is it gonna settle there? It looks like it's settling now at, going right back and forth between 6.3 and 6.4 grams. It's probably like 6.38 or something, I'd guess on the high side of 6.3, but we're calling it 6.3 grams. Let's check out the sizing on this thing. This one's slightly smaller than the last few, coming in at 17, is that 17.1 or 17.2? Well, it, it just keeps bouncing back and forth, God damn it! I need something that measures even more intense. I guess it doesn't matter that much though. All right, we're calling it 17.1, 6.3 grams, 17.1 millimeters. That is the magic potion. That might just have the magic potion to win it all. Someone's gonna take that home and be pretty stoked on it when they just play around with it and watch it shift colors and whatnot. Um, ooh, this one, I've, I've been trying to um, decide on a name for this one. I think I'm gonna call it Northern Lights because it's like sparkly. It's got some black, blue, and green. It's a striking color. Um, I wanna say it was Dragon's Eye and it's just a cool striking color that hits a lot of different shades on it. You'll probably see it better on the picture online, but we're gonna call this one Northern Lights because it's got a lot of the, um, the deep dark colors of the Northern Lights, maybe not the brightest ones from the Northern Lights, but it's got that sparkle to it too. This is kind of how I would imagine the Northern Lights to look. Not that I've ever seen them sadly, but someday I will. I really wanna go to, uh, what's it called? Iceland and sit in the Blue Lagoon and watch Northern Lights. That's like my bucket list goal right there. But let's see what the Northern Lights is weighing in at. Our competitor, the Northern Lights, is sitting at a cool 6.1 grams of weight to it. That is on the lighter side of the fighters, but like I said, you never know if that's gonna help or hurt you in the race. Only time will tell. And once you're all on the track together, they're bumping, 
they're zigging, they're zagging, being smaller could get you right around that marble instead of getting knocked by it. But only time will tell. All right, let's see what the sizing is on this one. Looks like it's the same size as our, what was the last one we did? Um, oh, the potion. Oh no, I think it might be just, uh, no. We're getting a 17.1 millimeter size on the Northern Lights right here. That could, that's just a cool marble, just the colors on it and everything. There's a lot, a lot going on there. And then we got four more competitors out here. Let me dump them all out. This one's super cool. Nita, you're crazy. This one's super cool. It's called the color Blue Blizzard, and we're calling it the Blizzard, baby. It's like a blue with all this uh, white dots within it. Um, that's how the color comes. I didn't make this color at all, but uh, I made it into a marble, and it came out super dope. So you'll be harnessing the power of the winter, which is coming upon us. As they say, winter is coming. Um, keep your mind out the gutter. But let's see what the blizzard is weighing in at. 6.2 grams for the blizzard. On the lighter side of things, once again, but that could just be because of the way this color is made with those white specks in there. I think that keeps the weight down, but now it's time to check the size and see if that uh, all lines up. Oh yeah, this is actually measuring at 17.4 millimeters, but with a 6.1 gram weight, it is uh, the biggest or like larger with a lighter weight, the ratio right there. There's some density um, or some difference in density of these colors, obviously, because this one is bigger than some of the other ones while weighing less. Pretty badass, reminds me of a winter storm. This is the blizzard, baby. 6.1, 17.4. Can it take the win? Can it blast through the, or can it freeze the competition and make the pass or something like that? <laughs> oh, this is so much fun doing all this commentating and stuff, though. I love hosting these Bar Boral Marble Leagues. All right, now we have the Swirly Bird. This one has a little vortex marble, so there's a little clear window there that you can see into this fumed out section. It looks super dope. We're calling it the Swirly Bird. It looks like it's in motion because of the swirls on it and the way the color uh, sits there. It looks like it's already going fast when it's just sitting still. Let's see what Swirly Bird weighs in at. I got a neat underneath my legs. I'm not playing with myself, I swear. Oh, this is a heavy boy. 6.7 grams for the Swirly Bird. All right, all right. Could get some good momentum going if it's knocking into other marbles and whatnot too. Oh, we got a large size to this one also. This one is 17.6 millimeters on the old Swirly Bird. So that is definitely on the larger side of marbles, weight-wise, size-wise. Do you wanna go with the big guy? Do you wanna go with the small, delicate one? If you're going for big, this is another great choice, the Swirly Bird. All right, and now we got Steely Dan. This one's made out of, uh, uh, what is it called? Steel wool, it's a sparkly gray color. This one also looks super metallic. It's like a, a more gray metallic compared to the darkness. Um, but Steely Dan is what we're calling this one because it's made with steel wool and it looks like a steel marble almost. But let's see what it weighs. So that sparkle add weight, take away weight. How's it looking? We're coming in pretty light on this one. 6.1 grams. Wait, it's bouncing around. Okay. It's settling at 6.1 grams for Steely Dan. And size-wise, not on the larger side. We're sitting at 17.3 millimeters. So we got Steely Dan sitting at 17.3 millimeters. It was at 6.1 grams. Kind of a light, delicate fighter. Could really do the thing, though. I believe in it. Nita, stop hitting all the marbles. Get out of here. Yeah, you're such a little bitch. Apparently, Nita doesn't like Steely Dan. Um, she feels threatened by Steely Dan, it appears. So if you want a threatening marble, Steely Dan could be the one for you. All right, yeah, we're back now. Sorry for that. The dog and cat decided to fight underneath me, and so I had to pause the video for a second there. And, um, but we do only have one marble left right now. It is one of my favorite ones as well. It is called the Ball Sack Marble. It's just the color that I uh, had sitting around just reminded me of skin tone ball sack, honestly. So I put a bunch of little pubes all over it. They are melted in, 
so they don't feel like pubes at all because we need it to be able to race fast still. But it does look kind of like a little ball sack. Just one ball though. Shout out to all my boys out there with one ball. You know who you are. I got a few friends rocking the one ball stees. Shout out to them. And this would be the marble for you if you rock one ball. But if you just have a ball sack in general, or if you're a lady that likes ball sacks, this could be your marble. Oh, sorry, the scale went off while my animals were fighting and distracting me. Let's see what the ball sack weighs in at. Is this a heavy ball sack? Is this a light ball sack? Should I weigh my own ball sack afterwards? No, you guys don't want to see that. All right, we're coming in at 6.3 grams for the ball sack. And let's see what it comes up to in the calipers. Oh, damn, this might be our smallest, but it's weighing at 6.3 grams, but it's coming in at only 16.9 millimeters. The ball sack at 6.3 grams, 16.9 millimeters is one of our biggest ratio gaps of heaviness on a small ball. But um, yeah, it's kind of smaller diameter wise, but it has the weight of many of the competitors. So that was our roundup. That was our weigh-ins. Now you guys know what you're dealing with when you're picking a marble off of the website today. Make sure you get those so you can enter in this race. I'll be updating everybody with the date and time of the live stream. We'll either do it right before the race starts or maybe the Friday before that, but I'm thinking most likely about noon to 1 p.m. on uh, Sunday the 3rd when we are all set up for our Boro Marble League but before everybody else gets in there and starts the chaos. This is the prize you're competing for. Runner-ups will be getting this epic nail as well in your choice of 10 or 14 millimeter. And no matter what, everyone takes home their marble, they get a stand to display it on, and they get that sweet Boro Marble League 2 sticker to show that you participated in Boro Marble League number two. Just in the beginning right now, but this is gonna go grow big. You're gonna see these numbers keep getting bigger and bigger and you'll be able to claim that you were at the OG competitions of Boro Marble League, baby. Um, thank you all for participating. Head over to my website, oldworldnewart.com, and grab yourself a marble, and I'll see you on the live stream at Boro Marble League, baby. And maybe I'll see a few of you in person, too. Take care. Love you. Stay comfy. Keep racing.